Hey everyone, welcome back to the AstroDevs channel. Today we are going to cover some essential tasks you should do right after installing Ubuntu Desktop. Especially if you have just transitioned from Windows to Linux, you will need to do a few things to ensure a smooth desktop experience. In this video, we will cover those tasks. Whether you are a complete new boy or a seasoned pro, these tips will help you get the most out of your system. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Task 1. Enable Minimize I'm Click. In this segment, I will show you how to enable the Minimize I'm Click feature. This is a handy option that allows you to minimize your application windows simply by clicking on its icon again. As you can see, when the window is open, clicking on its icon doesn't minimize it. And we need to fix this issue to enhance our desktop experience. To enable this feature, simply open the terminal and enter this command. It's that easy. Now we can minimize the window by clicking on its icon again. Task 2. See time zones and weather. Want to see world clocks and weather in Ubuntu's calendar and notification applet? Well, you can easily do that by installing the Genome Weather and Genome Clocks apps. With the Weather app, you can get a 5-day forecast for any location you specify and the Clocks app lets you check the current time in any time zone you add. To install these apps, you can either head to Ubuntu Software Store or use the command line. Just open the terminal and type this command. Once installed, open each app and configure it with the locations you want to track. And boom, this data will now appear in your applet. If you ever want to remove this integration, you can simply uninstall these apps. Task 3, install Flatpak and enable Flathub. The Ubuntu Software app lets you browse, search and install apps from both the Ubuntu repositories and the canonical stab store. However, it doesn't give you access Flatpak apps or Flathub. Flathub is the Flatpak app store. But don't worry, installing Flatpak on Ubuntu is quite simple. First, open a new terminal window and run this command. Once Flatpak is installed, you will need to enable Flathub. Just run this command. After that, restart your system to apply all the changes. Once you are back up, look for the one with the white icon to search for, browse, install and update apps from Flathub right on Ubuntu 24.04.1. It's that easy. Task 4. Install Genome Extension Manager Genome extensions are fantastic. They allow you to easily add new features functionally and a bit of fun to your Ubuntu desktop. You can find Geno extensions for just about anything, from displaying the weather to making app windows explode when you close them. While you can install Geno extensions using the Firefox web browser, I personally prefer using the Geno Extension Manager app. This app lets you search, browse, install, enable or disable and configure Geno extensions right from your desktop. No need to open a web browser. To install the Geno Extension Manager on Ubuntu, just search for it in the Ubuntu Software Store or enter this command. Task 5. Install Genome Tweaks The Genome Tweaks utility is indispensable. It unlocks a wide range of customization options, many of which are essential for tailoring your desktop experience. With Genome Tweaks, you can do a lot of things, such as move Windows buttons to the left, or adjust the fonts used by your desktop apps and terminal, and many other features. To install Genome Tweaks on Ubuntu, simply head over to Ubuntu Software Store app or enter this command. Once it's installed, you can run it by searching for tweaks in your apps grid. Task 6. 
center new windows in order to if you want new app windows to open in the center of the screen you can do it easily through the terminal just open a new terminal window and run this command The change takes effect instantly. Now, when you click on any app pinned on the Omonto dock, the window will appear right in the middle of your screen. If you want to disable this feature later, just run the save command again, but replace true with false. That's easy. Now, let's move on to installing some useful applications that will make your experience using Linux as a desktop easier and more enjoyable. Number one, install free download manager. If you have been using Windows, you are probably familiar with Internet Download Manager or IDEA. It's one of the most popular download managers out there, making our downloading tasks super easy. Now, if you are transitioning to Linux, you might be wondering, what about IDEA? Unfortunately, there isn't an IDEA for Linux, but don't worry, there is a fantastic alternative called Free Download Manager or FDM. FDM is one of the oldest open source applications and it allows us to download and manage files on Linux with ease. It's actually a lot better than IDM in many ways. To download it, simply head over to the official website at freedownloadmanager.org. Once there, go to the download section and select the Linux version. Click on the download button and you will get a Debian installation file. Installing it is just as simple. Number two, installing Beta Plus Plus. Next up, let's install Beta. When it comes to monitoring your Linux system, there are plenty of tools available. You might be familiar with the classic top or the newer version HTOP, but today we are focusing on a more modern tool, Beta Plus Plus. Beta is an advanced system monitor that offers a slick interface and a ton of features. In fact, it's the same tool that Canonical used in their promotional video for Omoto. Installing Beta++ is super easy. It's available on Snapcraft, which means you can get it up and running in no time. All you need to do is enter the installation command in your terminal. Just type sudo snap install beta. And that's it. Ready to help your monitor your resource effortlessly. Number 3, Install VLC. Now, let's move on Install VLC. As I mentioned earlier, if you are migrating from Windows to Linux, it's important to have the right tools to ensure a smooth desktop experience. One of the most popular media players you can install is VLC, which makes watching movies and videos on Linux much easier and more enjoyable. You can install VLC through various methods, Snapcraft, Ubuntu repositories, or even directly from the official VLC website. Personally, I prefer using apps for this. Just open your terminal and run this command. And that's it. VLC will be installed in no time, ready for you to enjoy all your favorite media. Number four, install NoFetch. This is a command line tool that gives you a nice overview of your computer and the Linux distribution you have installed. It's a very popular tool among users, and many people love to take a screenshot of the output and share them on social media or send them to friends. Installing NeoFetch is super simple. You can grab it directly from the Ubuntu repositories. Just open your terminal and run this command. And that's it. Now, if you type NeoFetch in your terminal, you will see the output showing case your system information in a stylish format. Thanks for sticking with me until the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to AstroDev's channel for more tips and tricks on using Ubuntu and Linux in general. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget that you can support us on Buy Me A Coffee. You can help us out financially. Every contribution gives us a lot of energy to continue our journey and motivates us to create better and higher quality videos for you. Thanks again. Enjoy your journey with Ubuntu and I will see you in the next one.